Hi guys, today I wanted to share with you my Foxy Fix Traveler's Notebook. This is a faux dory or an imitation Midori Traveler's Notebook. The original one is made by Midori. This one is made by the Foxy Fix. They can be found on Etsy and I will link that shop below. Uh, the owners of the company are Kelly and Jordan and they're doing amazing things with these Traveler's Notebooks. And I love this one. I fell in love with it so I just had to have it. This one here is a uh, nautical. It is made out of leather and I had this awesome little octopus stamp put on the bottom right hand corner because I thought it looked really cute with the nautical theme as well as this really cute ship charm. I love this. It's so adorable. I had the band made in red because I thought it just looked really cute with the nautical. I wanted to go with the red, white, and blue look. And this size of this um, Foxy Fix is regular with extra room. So it's slightly bigger than your standard size Midori Traveler's Notebook. And I like that because you can put a lot of items in it and you don't have any overhang on the right side. If you put the same amount of inserts in a regular Midori, you may have some overhang on the side, but that's just personal preference. Some people do like it and other people don't. So it just depends on what you like. So I wanted to share this with you and how I said it up. I just love the way it came out so I want to share it with you guys and I haven't done a video in such a long time so I figured this was a great way to just get back into my YouTube channel. So I'm going to open this up and I just usually pull my band across the top and I place my charm on the right so it doesn't get underneath the notebook and it doesn't become in the way and I'm going to open it up. Now this Foxy was purchased for a vacation trip that I'm taking. Um, we're going on our lake trip, our annual lake trip next week, and this is the dory that's coming with me. And it says summer vacation here. It's just a sticker that I put. And here I'm going to be placing a postcard, but I'm not going to be purchasing that until I arrive at the location. Okay, the first thing I put in here in my setup is this Midori. This is an official Midori accessory. It's the business card holder. I love this thing. I cannot set up any of my traveler's notebooks without it. It holds business cards, but if you can see, I put some Project Life cards in here that I thought went really well with the nautical theme. I also added some sticky notes that went as well. I have a gold paper clip because I wanted to incorporate gold in here as well. I have these smash, uh, smash book post-it pads as well, and more Hello Kitty ones. I just thought those were really cute, and I like to use a lot of post-it notes when I'm in my traveler's notebooks. So they're really nice and easy. You can grab them out of the pockets. Then on the other side, there's three more pockets, and I love that about these. And on this side, I put some planner stickers that I thought went well with the theme as well, some ephemera that I'm gonna use for scrapbooking in the inserts. Here is another Smashbooks um, post-it flag, and here is another Hello Kitty post-it flag. So I really like that. And if you can see, I incorporated teal because my original papers that I used to decorate my inserts had teal in them as well. This is my first insert. This is from the Yellow Paper House. They can be found on Etsy as well. These come blank in a craft color, and I decorated them. The papers that I used to decorate this were from Cartabella. It was the Ahoy There collection, and I thought it was just perfect for this nautical look. And I really like the way it came out. This paper clip up here on the top right is a red anchor. I got that at Hobby Lobby. And I'll just show you close up real quick. I really love how it came out. I used some uh, brads, and I also used some rhinestones. I used some gold tone stickers. And my intention for this insert is that we take a lot of boat trips when we go on our lake vacation. So I want to record them in this insert. This insert here is the grid paper, and I like that the best. And that's what I like about Yellow Paper House. They have all kinds of different types of uh, inserts that you can choose different things inside, line paper, grids, polka dots. There's all kinds of things to choose from. You can also choose from colored paper. I chose to go with just white because I was staying with the red, white, and blue theme. This here is a flare button that I just 
turned into a paper clip because I thought it was really cute. It says, let's go, and it definitely has that nautical look as well. And I keep this clip here because I like to keep the book intact. But um, this is going to be a progressing, uh, progression kind of foxy. Basically, we take this trip every year. So every year I'm going to add to the same foxy and the same inserts. I'm going to keep this designated just for our lake vacation. And that's why I purchased it. And I just thought it was really cute. Now I have this Ahoy There Project Life card that I just keep in the back here. I did not decorate the backs of the inserts because I just love the way the craft paper goes with the whole nautical theme. Okay, the next thing that we have here is the other side of the business card accessory. There's two sides to it and I wrap it around the insert. I like to use it that way the best. And I have some ephemera pieces in here and some washi tape that I'm pretty sure I'm going to be using as I scrapbook in the inserts. Since I'm traveling, I don't want to take full-size washi rolls with me. They take up too much space. So I have this acetate gold and clear uh, tag that I wrapped my washi tape on. And now anytime I need washi tape, I can just pull from this. And I love that it slides right in that pocket so I can scrapbook on the go in my inserts. I love that. And the other side, I did the same thing. I have some more of the ephemera pieces both on cardstock and on acetate and this is the other side of the washi tape so that is one full insert here and here on the left and right and again that can be purchased on Amazon and it's made by Midori and it ran me about eight dollars now the next thing I have is also a Midori official accessory it is the zip pocket I love these as well there's always something that you need to put inside your traveler's notebook so for instance if we take a boat trip I will have tickets that I'm going to be placing inside of this or receipts or just pretty much anything that I collect along the way I like to put that in there this can also be purchased on amazon.com and it runs about eight or nine dollars as well this is my second and last insert this is also from yellow paper house now this one is lined I prefer the grid but I wanted to try something different and I decorated this with the same paper collection as I did my first insert, which is Cartabella Ahoy there. And I did some gold embossing on this, which is super cute. It says where we ate, what we drank, and we ate this. My intention with this insert is that I want to keep track of the places that we eat down there because it's a vacation location there's always places changing out restaurant wise there's old favorites that we love to go to there's always new ones each year and I thought it would be really fun to keep track of them what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a small picture right here on the top of each of the restaurants that we eat at for that I'm going to be using my new popo LG printer. It's a pocket printer and I believe it's Popo because I know it's not Poo Poo <laughs> and I've heard some people call it Pogo with a G but mine says Popo so I'm not really sure but I purchased this on Amazon.com. It did not um you were not able to get it through Prime shipping. It was not eligible for Prime, but for $8, I was able to receive it in three or four business days. So I thought that was really awesome because I believe it came from overseas. And I love this little thing. So that's coming with me. And I'm going to be adding a picture right up here. And then I'm going to be journaling about what we like about the location, what we eat there, why we like to go back. And I want to do that for each of the restaurants that we eat at because we do a lot of restaurant hopping when we're there. It's lovely to sit down near the lake and the water and just, you know, try all the different lakeside restaurants. And again, this is a progression type of book, so each year I'm going to add to it. And it's going to be fun to go back on past years to see what we were liking at that time frame because your tastes definitely change over the years. And we do this vacation every year. This is probably uh, my ninth time going. My husband's been going for like 25 years. So it's not going to change. This here is a paper clip that I made myself. I know there are a lot of Etsy shops that create these, but I didn't order one in time. So I had these really cute ribbons laying around and I just hot glued them to a gold paper clip. And I thought that gave the book a lot of cuteness and interest. So I really like that as well. 
And then the next item, and here is a Project Life card that I like to keep in the back here on the clip. And this is just in case I want to take notes or if I want to put stickers down here or just decorate it. I like to keep the inserts in this one plain in the back because the craft looks really cute with the whole red, white, and blue and nautical. And just so that you know, this washi tape right here is the new washi tape from Hobby Lobby. It's a thin washi tape and I incorporated the teals as well because it was in the background paper. And that was it for my last insert. And then the next piece is the opposite side of the pocket accessory. So this is one side and this is the other because I wrap it around my insert. And I love that too because it has a cute convenient pocket. I have this pad here that's from Joanne's Dollar Spot and I thought it went perfect, the colors and the water theme. And I just slide that in here because I like to have a pad with me at all times to take notes on and make little lists. And that's it guys, that is everything that I have in here. This is the first one that I've actually officially set up. So I'm really happy with how it came out and I will just flip through it real quickly so you guys can see it again. I'm sure it will change a lot between now and next week when I leave. I'll probably add a ton more stuff to it, but that's okay. That's why I purchased the extra room, the regular with extra room, because there is definitely more space in here to put a lot more items. So that was it, guys. I'm really happy with this. Um, if you have any questions or if there's anything you saw that I did not explain where I got it from and you want to know, just leave that down in the comments. Thank you so much for watching, guys, and I will be back soon because I have another Foxy that's also coming on our lake vacation that I'm going to be setting up next. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.